sisters and welcome back to Paper and Glam and if you're new I am Lise Marie and I'm so excited that you're here. We're all about planners and seasonal living and today we are going to be walking through our brand new planner collection, the May collection. So we release a collection every month on the 1st. So April 1st we released May and then May 1st we'll be releasing June and so on. So we're going to be walking through each of the releases in my sticker binder and then also of course unboxing them and then this is going to be an extra fun unboxing because we also have a little plan with me portion. I feel like it's a little bit hard to see our cute seasonal header scenes on the sheets when they're all broken up. So we put that together like we normally do in Plan With Me's. So go grab a steaming mug, mug of your favorite and get ready for a nice, long, chatty unboxing, just walking through some of the heart behind our stickers, the inspiration, and kind of get a little peek behind the scenes of how a seasonal scene becomes a sticker. ready for this sisters this is an official debut I'm so excited I am drinking some matcha because I was up until about 11 last night releasing this and I'm one of those early birds so that's super late for me that's way past my bedtime I'm like a 9 30 go to sleep kind of girl all right so our May dashboard is of course travel themed we have this cute little suitcase with lots of stickers on it and I got another one right here that's very Kate Spade inspired. She's got her little Sam bag up there. And this collection is kind of inspired by two things, one brunch and two travel. So there we got our dashboard. It comes with your May kit or your May order and we have our monthly planner kit. We have our headers, we've got our basics, our core glam, our glam reads, glam summer reads, and then our summer date covers, and then our travel kit. So that's what we're going to be unboxing today. So let's start with the star of the show, our flagship product, the Glam Monthly Planner Kit, May. First off, how cute is this popsicle washi? I love how it matches our headers, or all, all of the collection, but the headers are just right there. Okay, so we've got our seasonal living list. And then I'll push those to the side. Then we have a kit. All right, so we've got a big farmer's market bag that's kind of the focal point here in the middle of the sheet. And then we have just lots of fun functional stickers. We've got brunch, we've got Manny, we have taco night because of Cinco de Mayo. And you know, who doesn't love Taco Tuesday? We've got Remember for Memorial Day. We have Cheers with a little mint julep. Got a scrapbook for my memory keeping girls, or it could be a planner too. We've got pizza, and we've got champagne brunch, notebooks, reading. So yeah, just some fun little icons that would be great on your monthly or of course your weekly. And then we have the seasonal celebrations and these coordinate or correspond perfectly with the seasonal leaving list. So there's one for each with both an icon and then the name of the celebration. So mint juleps or pastel mani pedi, peony floral and a styled May word with some bows on it. Then we have our sheet with weekend banners and my favorite sticker on here is the brunch weekend banner. It just makes me so deliriously happy. And I hope that these stickers make you look at your planner and just, you know, be happy. Remember the magic. That's, that's really, I just hope I can light up your day a little. That's, that's what we strive for at Paper and Glam. So I love the burger one too. And then we have like a kind of Cinco de Mayo one here. And then we got some tea and then flip flops because it's like summer weather, kind of the beginning of summer. And we've got another peony day banner here. I love this wine and cheese board. I am from Napa, so I love me some wine and some charcuterie boards. That's kind of glam mom's jam. And then reorder paper and glam, June releases, which is May 1st. Our collections release the first of the month, uh, usually towards the later part of the day. Once Team Glam hits the road, I usually sit down and bust it out. And then we have some functional stickers here. We've got bow checklists and teapot checklists. And then we have a little bit of both here, some icons, and then a big styled word that says sunshine. All right, next page is the box stickers and how fun are these? 
So let me show you some of the inspiration behind these stickers. So this first sticker is actually an exact replica of this shot from the beginning of May last year. We did switch out the roses for peonies because it's peony season and we thought that'd be fun. So the second one is pastel mani pedi. We did a pedi for the first time since it's like flip-flop sandal season. We normally do do kind of a hand shot for Manny, but I thought that would be fun since it's kind of the first time we're putting on our shorts and our sandals for the year, especially if, if you know, you live in colder climates. Then we have mint juleps because, you know, we have Derby Day and I always think that's a super fun celebration. And it's also just a really springy drink. I love mint juleps even when you're making them without alcohol. So this next shot, the mint to be, was taken from this shot with the mint. This is a mint drink I got at the Parker Palm Springs, which is where I went for my birthday last year, which is just right at the, which is right in June. So that is the inspiration with the little straw and the mint leaves. Uh, those yellow umbrellas would have been a super fun background too. We have a lot of this in June, so I decided not to use them since we do like so many fun pool poolside shots. Next we have a peony bouquet. I love peonies and they're they come out just like for that brief time during the year. So really celebrating them is fun. And then we've got a scrapbook layout here, or it could be, you know, memory planning in your planner. Then we have a Taco Tuesday banner for, you know, Cinco de Mayo, or if you, if you want to use it for any Taco Tuesday, it's there. It is actually on Sunday this year, but since we have lots of other fun little Cinco de Mayo stickers in the kit, I thought it might be fun to just do a Taco Tuesday once, since that would be a little bit more versatile. Then we have a Mother's Day sticker here that says, Mom, you were right about everything, which is pretty much what I tell my mom all of the time. And as I get older, I just have more and more respect for my mom and what she did as just a business owner and a single mom and a first generation immigrant and just all the things that, that she is. So, and she just was right about everything, but we don't know that till we get a little older, amen? And then we have this next shot, it's just inspired by a little pink ottoman I have in my living room and I like to take pictures of it with um, candles and flowers all the time. So here is the inspiration shot for this middle box. So just, you know, something with flowers and candles and pillows. My couch is black, which doesn't lend itself super well to being stickerified, but we adapted it so it's light and bright and fun. And I just look forward to getting out my summer decor every year. It's kind of like my quote unquote signature decor that's not for any particular holiday. And it's nice to settle into that kind of more lazy summer vibe that I always feel when I get that decor out. Then we have this farmer's market gal. And and she is just on her way back from the farmer's market. I am such a farmer's market fan. We've got one right by my house, so pretty much all of my neighbors walk down to the farmer's market on Sundays, and a lot of times I'll go to Pilates and then just hop over there and get stuff for the week. There's like an egg lady who, you know, has these hens that eat, you know, like gluten-free everything, <laughs> and, and just like fun chit-chatting with with neighbors and the vendors, you get to know them and find out how they run their business. And I just, I love supporting small business, of course, as a small business owner. So I'm, and, and farmers who are really invested in, um, you know, sustainable practices. So I, I love me a farmer's market. All right, on to the next box. We got our champagne brunch sticker because hashtag brunch. And we also just released some brunch stickers with our April collection. If you're looking for a signature sticker that kind of has lots of brunches for, for maybe if you're a, a once a week brunch kind of girl. Then we have this hike double box. And I, I don't know if hiking just has gotten really trendy in the last couple years or we all just love the idea of it, but I just love the idea of a hike and a fun view and like these gals are consulting the map, hike more, worry less. I also love hiking because you go out and you realize how small you are and kind of a lot of times whatever I'm thinking about is pretty small in the, in the expanse of nature. Then we have Notebook Day, which should be a national holiday as far as our paper fans are concerned. So I love that. And then we have a Pizza Party Day, and we've got like three hands grabbing pizza here, and four actually. Then we have Farmer's Market Season, so this has a cute little peach background. And then wine pairs nicely with good friends. So we did kind of like a blurred out charcuterie board for wine day. And being from Napa, I could not leave wine day off of the list. 
Then we've got Memorial Day here, and then Burger Day at the Glam Diner. All right, next we have our seasonal extra for the year, or for the month, excuse me. And for May, it is You Better Sweat. I kind of love those outdoor workouts I start doing as the weather gets nicer. And so we did these flat lays with cute sayings on the shirts. And a lot of these, you if you guys have been with me a long, long time, you'll remember some of these from the original stickers we released. They were actually part of You Better Work, and then I kind of divided them into You Better Sweat and You Better Work. Um, so like this one says strength is beauty. So the idea is like you're laying out your workout clothes, and then we have little motivational sayings. Nobody said it was easy, which is something that uh, I tell myself a lot. Um, and then easy doesn't change you. Do it anyway. You know how we have those excuses in our head and then it's just like just do it anyway how bad do you want it decide to finish before you start feed me tacos and tell me I'm beautiful I thought that one was especially appropriate since we've got some taco Tuesday stuff in here and we've got Cinco de Mayo then we have just like a, a looking down shot with some weights and a that can be a yoga mat or like a foam roller or whatnot and we have a little phone that says you better sweat and then strong body strong mind so I believe that mental health really starts in the body and when your body is strong, your mind is strong too. So I just, that was on one of the original stickers and it's just something I keep in mind, especially when I'm tempted to um, skip my workout. So the next sheet has some more scenes. So the first one I have, eat according to your goals. And that was inspired by an old school shot I'll show you. So this is the shot that inspired this one. And you can tell I took it April 25th, 2015. And I remember this day because I was in Denver and it was snowing outside and it was the end of April. And I was so ready for summer. I was kind of have a bit of like that seasonal dysfunction when it's snowing towards the summer. And um, so I took this picture and was like, okay, eat according to your goals because you kind of just want to like cuddle up inside and eat your feelings, but then you realize it's going to be 80 the next day because that's weather in Denver. So that's the heart behind that one. Then we have a gal in the gym with one of those bands uh, doing inner and outer thigh work here. Then we have find your balance and then do it for the joy. That's what I always remind myself when I go into the gym. You know how sometimes you have to be five minutes into your workout before you're like, oh wait, I like this. <laughs> That's me every day. So <laughs> I'm like, just do it for the joy. Five minutes in, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I love working out. So then we have You Better Sweat with a strong gal in the locker room here. Then we have a, another gal with a dumbbell or um, a kettlebell, excuse me. We have another runner here going for like a little outside jog. And then my favorite one is the downward dog and Miss Sunday's making a cameo appearance here. Um, and it says, this is an inside job. And then summer bodies are made in the winter, one of the OGs. So that's something I used to tell myself when I lived in Denver and it was, you know, snowing in May. I'd be like, okay, summer bodies are made in the winter. Just drive to the gym. And that would get me to the gym, you know, when it's literally like 17 degrees and I'm going before work and I'd be like, summer bodies are made in the winter. So, all right, that is our May planner kit. Okay, for our headers, we're gonna do kind of an impromptu plan with me because it's hard to get a sense of how cute these are when they're split up on the sheets. So let's open them and then we'll get them on our layout. So the inspiration for these is just a spring brunch with girlfriends at somebody's house or maybe a restaurant. And so they're doing a little toast and then outside we've got a fire pit and a hammock and just like a beautiful spring scene. This was really inspired by uh, that trip to Palm Springs I was telling you about. There's this amazing brunch spot called Norma's after Norma Jean, also known as Marilyn Monroe. And they have like a fire pit and like a hammock between trees for reading and just like French doors like this. And I was like, okay, I gotta make this into a sticker just to memorialize the trip. And the food is amazing. They have beignets, beignets, excuse me, and just like the most amazing brunch food. So we've got all of that down here with like a French press and all kinds of good brunch stuff. So we'll put this together real quick. And then also down here, we've got a gal traipsing through the farmer's market, which is really fun. And then a champagne brunch pattern, if you wanna put that on like Mother's Day, and then just two boxes here for just decor or whatever you wanna use it for. All right, so we we'll wanna put this bottom scene on first because it's much easier to line up because you've got lines down here. So we'll put that down nice and straight, and then we can put our big header right on top. So we'll put that, line it up, 
And it's as simple as that. So you can see the whole scene here. And then the other side. So this one has a nice little hack because you have this bar right here. So I was just turning it around and try not to paste it, <laughs> paste it in flight. And then uh, I just line it up right there and boom, straight as an arrow. Okay, so I'm sure you all know how date dots go on. So I'll save that for a plan with me and then we'll put down these other boxes. So I'm gonna put this champagne brunch sticker on Mother's Day and, oops, I got it a little bit lower, but close enough. And then we have this fun little farmer's market scene, which doesn't quite have a, a full home. So let's see, where should we put it? We could put it over like a weekend, that'd be fun. Or let's see, we could put it like on the bottom here because we have like an empty one, one empty single box for the first day of June. Decisions, decisions. The fun thing about this scene is it's actually split up. So you can, maybe if you go to the farmer's market like every Sunday, you can use like one on one Sunday, one on another, or you can use them all together. So hopefully I won't have plans on, on Friday. So I'm actually just gonna use this scene on the bottom here. And cover the one. And then these, I don't really have too much going on in May. I have lots going on in April. You know how some months it's like all the things, it's all the things are like the month is wide open. So I have three trips in April and then back to normal. No trips for the beginning of the year, but three in April and then May is wide open. So I'll save those boxes for something special. And if nothing else, I'll put them on the 8th and the 15th, right? Our subscription days. So that's how our brunch stickers look. We will save the other side. So we also release one in the, in the kit. It all comes together for the glam planner. So if you use both or your either or, you can choose which one works for you. So it's the same exact scene. So I won't put it on. We'll do that in the plan with me together. And we did it together just in plan with me April, but that's there. And this is how it all fits together so I don't know about you but I am really excited for spring just looking at it and then the rest of the headers in the kit are more for the weekly although you could definitely use it on your sidebar or on your monthly too so these are kind of for individual days like this week today to do work home tonight glam it up remember grateful next we have our basics also known as event stickers so these look really simple but they definitely pull a layout together so we have our half boxes we have quarter boxes, we have more and more professional looking half boxes, and then we've got full boxes and cute little bow checklists. Now onto the core, the MVP. You guys love these and I'm so excited about that. We have six sheets in here that all have a theme. So I've gotten really chatty, so I'll go kind of quick on these because I know I've talked about them in previous um, plan with me's, or excuse me, um, unboxings. So these are kind of glamming about town, right? They're going out, running errands, dinner out, seeing movies, shopping, that kind of stuff. Then we have everyday glam. That's just stuff around the house when we're lounging or doing our Glamazon ordering or our PNG ordering or putting on makeup, magazines, candles, flowers, glam flicks, sleeping in, beauty rest. Then we have glam office. So get lamin' it up, getting it done here. And then gym glam and glam home for all of our dream homekeeping and then glam plans for list making. Next we have our fun date covers. These are our summer date covers. So similar to Glam Reads, this covers the months of May, June, July, and August. And of course you can use these stickers for any month your heart desires, but they are made to coordinate specifically with those monthly color schemes, but all of our stuff is really cohesive. So it'll flow from one month to the other nicely. All right, so this is May. We've got teapots down here and they're outlined so you can see exactly where they go if you wanna get them straight. Or what's really fun about these offerings is you could use these if on your monthly layout if you have like multiple planners and you wanna put these on the monthly and then you can just write in the days right here on the weekly day cup. Here is June and we have suns and then just like a fun pool pattern, this beautiful summer floral and a summer plaid. And we have a Glamericana July version, plus just some pink stars. If towards the end of your month, you get a little weary of the red, white, and blue, we like to include lots of pinks and make it a little more versatile. So there's stars. And then we have August, which is high heels. So we've got 
three patterns here, of course. We got polka dots and more pink floral and August is our signature month. So it's very much signature PNG colors, which is pink and black, lots of kind of Barbie vibes. And it also matches really well with You Better Work, which is our seasonal extra for August. And also the first stickers that Matt and I ever released. So that's it, our summer date covers. And then we have our summer reads. So for our 2019 Glam Reads, we added fun seasonal reading scenes. So I love my literary baths. So we've got a spring bath, then kind of a weekend shot, or it could be like a coffee shop shot of a gal reading, wearing her white pants, cause Memorial Day. <laughs> and then a girl reading in a plane. So you see a plane taking off and she's she's ready with her book for takeoff for her spring breaks. Then we've got our tracking stickers for book reviews and how many pages you read if you're a nerd like me and tracking how many pages you read is fun, which I know a lot of you understand the joy of planning to read and reading and kind of having choosing what to read be as much fun as the actual reading. So same format here with June. We've just got our June colors and we've got a gal at the beach that says today I'm booked. Another gal reading at the beach just for fun. It matches perfectly with Glam Getaway. If maybe you're taking a trip and another summer looking bath. You guys, speaking of reading baths, have you seen the teapot that Lush just came out with? I'm loving it. Their Easter collection is also killer. I still have some from winter, so I'm trying to be good. <laughs> All right, then we have our reads scenes for Glamericana vibes. So we have Catch 22 here in a breakfast tray because that's our July read for the PNG book club. And then over here we have Present Over Perfect, which we read two years ago in July and was one of my favorite books by my favorite author, Shauna Nyquist. And this sticker you might remember from last year's July's collection. Since it was all about books and reading, I moved it here. It's not on this year's July collection, but I have a sticker that this was, or excuse me, a picture this was actually adapted to that I thought I'd show you. So here's the inspo shot. So Glam Mom always puts American flags in white roses during July, so I totally stole that idea from her. And I run to Trader Joe's, grab my $6.99 dozen white roses and stick flags in them and put them around the house. And it's like Americana decor, done. Or Glam Americana decor, if you're in PNG world. All right, then we have August. So this is one of my all time favorite stickers we've ever done. And it was in the August collection this last year and it was for Book Lovers Day. It's not there this year, um, but I did not want to lose this sticker because it just is like goals. This giant stack of books and coffee and a comfy chair. Then we have a gal reading at the pool here and then another bath sticker. So that is Glam Summer Reads. Last but not least, we have our weekly kit for May and it is a travel inspired kit. So many of you have said you have just the most amazing trips coming up and or if you're like me, I'm totally gonna live vicariously through you. I do have a couple of fun trips coming up, but some of y'all are going on like fun cruises and going to Ireland and like going abroad. So the skyline here was inspired by New York. I've gotten a couple questions about whether that's a glammed up New York skyline. And yes, that was the inspiration. So it says once a year travel someplace you've never been before. And it's a goal of mine, even if it's just like somewhere in California, I've never been before. And then here we have like a planning school square here for like planning your trip with a little to-do list in your planner, then packing, then um, just some travel, whether you're like on a plane or a train, whether you're driving somewhere. This box is actually my favorite box. I don't know why. It's like the simplicity of it. Just like driving down PCH and I love the glam car. And then we have our gal from the dashboard who's looking out with her luggage. And then we have lastly is to live is to travel. When I travel, I love to go looking in like little boutiques for something unique or like bookstores or cute little cafes. So we've got a clothing shop and a bookstore and a cafe here. And then the next sheet is our functional stickers. We've got a fun weekend banner, a plain pattern with flags, and then more fun flags here. I love this suitcase pattern. You'll see it on the washi in a second. Some fun icons, plain checklists, and then our 
basics have like a plaid and planes and suitcases and polka dots and then we've got our washi and I just love the way this washi came out we've got planes on the bottom and then this fun suitcase pattern so we wanted this to be just like a generic travel kit that you could use whether you were going somewhere tropical whether you were just going to a city I'm going to Denver for a wedding my best friend's wedding in July and I thought this would be perfect for that trip to Denver it's also on 4th of July so well it's the 3rd of July but you know it's that week so I'm like do I want to use the travel kit or it's also Glen Mary Econa week um, she got a really amazing deal because uh, it's 4th of July so that that's kind of I think well I'll use it it definitely reminds me of Denver it has some Denver vibes with the mountains and and whatnot but you know here's PCH we tried to we tried to cover everything and that is a wrap on all of our new releases and last but not least, before we adjourn this unboxing, I wanted to show you the complete May collection, including things that aren't new releases. And plus, for new members of the community, everybody wants to know how we store our planner stickers. So a lot of gals like to have a binder per season, so like fall, winter, spring, or by month, kind of just depending on the size of your PNG collection. So we have, this is my May binder here, and I like to just keep a little dashboard with the seasonal living list and any matching like post-its. I don't have any seasonal clips for May, so I definitely will be paying a visit to Emily, who is a longtime PNG member. She does digital, digital glamming, and she has an awesome planner clip shop, so I'll link it below, but I need some seasonal clips. All right, so we have our May memory dashboard, and that's a series we do every month. We just did March memory planning, and then we have circles, which I also use in that video, and washi. And then we have the May kit that we just walked through. So we got stickers on stickers, and then the headers. We have the Seasonal Glam Monthly here, and this is designed to also go on the monthly, but of course you can use it however you'd like. It will work on your weekly too. And then we have our date covers, uh, more headers. We have our arrows. So these are great if something gets rescheduled or just for blocking out time or just like any other basics. Then we've got our May basics. And then these are our quarter box, pattern quarter boxes, and these come in a 365. If you're like me and you go through this sheet like water, this is a fun option. And then we have uh, some glitter quarter boxes too that also come in a 365. And a 365 is a set of 12, and it's one for each month. So it's for kind of buying in bulk, it's the best price if it's something you know you use every month and then you don't have to worry about restocking or like using them very sparingly. So the rest of our basics here. And then these are our summer florals, which mine have been have been getting some use. And these are actually in the outlet, just the last few. I think we have 12 or so left. And then we have our glitter flags, glitter headers. These are also in the outlet. And we've got glitter basics here and then our core glam stickers, reads, uh, meal plans. So these come in a seasonal bundle. And so we have just like reads, uh, we have summer, we have fall holiday, and then we have winter, spring. And then vlog, which I use a lot, but is currently out of stock. It's getting a facelift. And then we have our habit trackers. These come in seasonal bundles too. So the summer one is the current one, which is May through August. And then same with H2O. These are also in the outlet. If you would like to keep track of your water, I know I can always need to be drinking more water. Then we have a travel weekly kit and that is the full May collection. That's a wrap on our May collection. I hope you are as excited to plan with it as I am to send it home to you. We have some housekeeping news. We have our annual sale coming up next weekend. It's the 13th and the 14th. It won't be any of the new releases shown in this video, but there's gonna be lots of opportunities to stock up. And if you'd like to get some your sale on, we always have the Glam Outlet, which we keep stocked with lots of items and offerings at every price point. So let's see what else that we have early access to our annual sale on Thursday for members of our Facebook group or our email list and our text list. We really have been working to stay in contact with you guys and 
give uh, lots of uh, fun little perks to our glam fam. So I think that's a wrap, but thank you guys so much for your orders for the May collection. And subscribers, you're actually getting to see the collection before it shows up in your inbox, which is, which is fun. We're getting ahead a little bit here. So I think that's a wrap. Until next time, sisters, happy planning. Thank you.